So I'm finally getting around to restoring the parts from those pinball machines that I found. And honestly, once I'm done sandblasting this metal, I won't be happy with painting it or covering it with an oil because those seem like very temporary solutions. So I think we should do what the manufacturers originally did and galvanize them with zinc. So it's time to finally experiment with zinc electroplating. We have a pound of zinc, some acid to dissolve it, Epsom salt to increase the conductivity of the electrolyte, and we have some sugar because I've heard that sugar can help to inhibit the growth of crystals. So if I didn't have this, it would look very matte, a matte finish. But if I do have this, then the surface will be smoother with much smaller crystal formation and will hopefully result in a more shiny appearance similar to that. I don't know about you guys, but I really hate the smell of vinegar, so this is not going to be a fun part of this. Oof, that's um... It's got a smell to it, that's for sure. Put in some Epsom salt and... I don't want to put in too much just yet. And you know what? Let's do an experiment. Let's test this. So let's not put this in for now because I believe we can actually dissolve the zinc in there without that and so we can do a test and add that later and see what the change is. So now comes the part of dissolving the zinc into the vinegar which I believe creates zinc acetate but I'm not a chemist so take that with a grain of salt, Epsom salt and like this is a pretty chunky item so not that much surface area compared to the actual material so it might take a lot longer to reach the concentration I would want. So let's see if we can pound the shit out of this and make it into a smaller like strip and so hopefully that can react faster. Might even be usable by tomorrow. I never actually owned a piece of zinc this big so I don't know how it'll react. Like I don't know if it'll squish or if it will crack or I guess I don't know the, the ductibility of it. I don't know. Whatever. We'll find out. Holy cow, this stuff is harder than I thought. I thought it was going to be weak like lead. Then again, I guess lead's pretty strong too. I think I'm a bit too lazy for this. And I'm actually kind of patient, so... Let's see if it takes a couple days to get this to, to dissolve in there. Probably won't all dissolve, probably just a small layer of it, but... Actually, I don't know. Could be wrong. I've never done this before. Let's come back in a couple of days and see if anything really happens. Wow, that is fast. Probably good enough. Perfect. It's actually really good. It's been 24 hours and it's still fizzing. That's weird. And it doesn't look like it's really done much. Oh, it's actually. Interesting. I sandblasted this rotor thing from a pinball machine and I believe that connects to negative and then I believe positive should go to the zinc. I'll put that here. And I kind of feel like trying half and half. I'm pulling point one of an amp.
Oh, something's happening. So weird. Looks like it started reacting to that. Don't know how I feel about that. Well, guys, I let this sit for a week. Well, like I forgot it for a week, but whatever. I had a lot of work to do on my workshop construction, so I have a good excuse at least. Ooh, it's all turned like powdery. Hmm. Well, surely a week should be good enough, and unfortunately, this area is pretty humid, so it's all rusted up. Now that's better. That goes in. This goes in halfway. Hard. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more Epsom salt so I can have a lower voltage and less bubbling. I'll stir it up a little bit. It's been about 45 minutes. I think it's probably good enough. Ooh, interesting. So I just washed it off and there was like a red, almost rusty colored layer there, but that came off relatively easily. Unfortunately, the parts that were not submerged rusted up very quickly. We can see some plating going on here. Now, that was over 45 minutes, so I might want to increase the amperage or increase the voltage. And I also want to rotate it because this side was facing the electrode or anode, whatever it's called. I think it's an anode. And then this side was facing away. It still had some plating. But it obviously didn't get very much, so maybe next time I should put it like, well, I should probably should totally submerge it. Maybe I should rotate it somehow. Or just, I'll take it out, put it back in, take it out, put it back in, just rotate it every time. a good idea. I find it interesting how white that looks. It's almost like a frosted feeling. And I can kind of feel... The crystals, actually. It feels like super fine sandpaper, like a couple thousand grit. So now I think we should probably add the sugar to see if that helps decrease this um, white frosted look. But it would be a good idea to keep that in mind if, in case we ever need to replicate that look because that could actually look kind of cool. Now let's try, oh shit, I just, I just touched it, so now my, all of, all of my hand will go on it. No point in having a freaking glove if you're gonna touch it, but oh well. Oh, it's not high enough. There we go. Look at that, it is going pretty good too. Alright, it's been about, oh, I don't know, 45 minutes or so again. And I've been rotating it, and it looks promising. Very promising. So here's where we are right now, and it went better, but I worry that it's probably going to rust a lot. And I just don't like the texture of it, so... You know what? Let's call it there, and I can play around with the formula, and we can address these issues in the next one. But, I figure I'll let this sit out and we can see where it didn't coat. And we can kind of learn from there. So, probably come back to this in a week or two and see what rusts up. And, and then we can just sandblast it and try again. And 
maybe use some more sugar, although that sugar was powdered sugar for like baking or whatever, so I think it has some other things in it, so it might not have been as pure as needed. And I can also get more vinegar, so I can have a higher level of it, so I don't I have to put the tank on its edge to have enough liquid. That's just an idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick little video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!